Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Arha Huttunen and in this quick video I will be talking about using the Mokito framework with JUnit 5. So there are a couple of ways to do this in a JUnit 5 independent way and then there's also the possibility to use the JUnit 5 Mokito extension. But I don't want to be wasting any more of your time, so let's get right into it. Let's start with a super simple example where we have an order class that has just a creation date. There's also an order repository which allows to save the orders. And then there is the order service which lets the user to create new orders. Once an order is created, it will be assigned a creation date and the service will ask the repository to save it. But before we start mocking stuff, we first have to add the Mokito as a dependency, so let's do just that. Now that we have our dependencies in place, let's try the test. I'm going to add a couple of member variables here for the order repository and the service. Now we want to initialize these before each test. We'll want the order service to call a mocked version of the order repository. So we can do that by calling a static mock method and we'll have to pass the class of the repository as an argument. And then we'll just construct the order service and pass the mocked instance of the repository to it. So next in our test, we just make sure that whenever the save method of the order repository mock is called, return something. In this case, I'll just return the first argument. When we now tell the order service to create an order, it will call the order repository mock behind the scenes. This approach has most control over the mocks we need to create, but can become quite verbose if we have a lot of mocks. If we don't want to call the mock method manually on each dependency to be mocked, we can use a mock annotation on the dependency. We can tell Mokito to scan all the dependencies annotated with the Mokito annotation and let it do the initialization. We can do this by calling the Mokito annotations open mocks method with this as argument. This will return an auto closable, which can then be used to reset the mocks after the test. Mokito will scan all the fields in this class that are annotated with the mock annotation and initialize them as mocks. As you can see, this is a little bit more work in this case, but if you would have more mocks to initialize, this would be quite handy. We can also tell Mokito to inject mocks automatically to a field. All we have to do is to annotate the field with inject mocks. Now when we call open mocks, Mokito will again scan all the fields annotated with the mock annotation and initialize them as mocks. Then it will also instantiate the field annotated with inject mocks and will try to inject all the mocks to it. Mokito will first try to inject mocks by constructor injection, followed by setter injection or field injection. It really makes it easy to inject mocks but it's good to be aware that it's not recommended to use field or setter injection. Using constructor injection, we can be 100% sure no one instantiates the class without injecting its dependencies. There is one more trick in the back to make this even simpler, and that is to use the Mokito JUnit 5 extension which is actually the only method here that is dependent on JUnit 5. Now that we have added the extension as a dependency, we can extend the test with the Mokito extension. Once we do this, we don't need the auto closable anymore and we can get rid of calling the open mocks method. Now, there's two ways to do this. First, we can just initialize the order service ourselves. This is basically the same that we did earlier, but we don't need the closable or the open mox call anymore. The second way is to use the inject mox annotation again. This gets rid of the before each method once and for all and makes the test setup really compact. 
So there you have it. A few different ways of initializing mocks with the Mokita framework. And it's really up to you to choose the best method for your use case. Uh, please like the video if you found it useful and please consider subscribing to the channel if you already haven't done so as I will be making more videos like this in the future. Stay curious and see you in the next video.